Hello everyone, I am Somesha Shanabati, Assistant Professor Vedang Institute of Technology. In this class, we will discuss one numerical, how to find out E and uh, eta, that is our void ratio and porosity, water content and degree of saturation. So, until now, in soil mechanics, we have understood a lots of things like uh, how to find out specific gravity, how to find out water content, how to find out unit weight of soil by using lab methods and some of field methods. So, I thought that you learn, you learn lots of things. So, to remember the previous classes what we have already learned, we need to solve this numerical. So, what the question gives us, like a specimen of soil was immersed in mercury, the mercury which came out was collected and its weight was 290 grams. That does mean we have weight of mercury as 290 grams. Next, after oven dry, its weight became 30.2 gram. So, we have W dry as 30.2 grams. So, next word, the specific gravity was given here. So, we have G. G is as 2.7 and weight of soil in natural state was 34.6 gram. So, in the natural soil weight will be what 34.6 gram okay so now we will find out e and eta before going to find out void ratio and porosity so first we will find out the volume total volume as we know to find out volume we have unit weight here. So, unit weight equals to weight upon volume. So, to find out volume, we can use the formula as W upon gamma. Right. And here we have one hint that will be the unit weight of mercury. Right. So, we have W and gamma here. We will take the W as 290 grams. And gamma is what here? 13.6. So, 290 upon 13.6. It will be our 21.32. What? 290 in? gram. So, gram upon it will be 21.32 centimeter cube. Right. So, we have the volume equals to 21.32 centimeter cube. Okay. So, now after finding out the volume here, everything in gram per centimeter cube and here grams, grams. So, we will find out the, find out everything in this gram per centimeter cube or gram or centimeter cube. Okay. So, now we have the total volume. Okay. As we know, we know the formula for gamma dry that will be G into gamma W upon 1 plus E. Okay. So, so we have V he here if we just and gamma value here. If we use for the formula of gamma dry that is dry weight upon volume dry that will be our total volume. 
so we will have the gamma dry value here so the w dry we can find out here so over and add and its weight become 30.2 grams okay so 30.2 upon dry volume that is similar to the total volume 21.32 it will be 1.416 that is our gamma dry why we find out this gamma dry value because we need to find out e so if we put the value of gamma dry here and g and gamma w we already have so by putting the value of gamma dry here we can calculate e value right you need to solve or calculate these things accordingly right so we have the gamma dry value now So, gamma dry is 1.416 per gram per centimeter cube, right. So, now to find out this one E value here, we can write 1 plus E equals to G gamma W upon gamma dry. Also, we can write E equals to G gamma W upon gamma dry minus 1. Okay. We have the formula for E here. Now, by putting the values, we can find out this void ratio value. Okay. So, G is already given. We have G as 2.7. Here you can see G as 2.7. We know that unit weight of water we will take as 9.8. Okay. And gamma dry we already got the value that is 1.416 minus 1. So, 2.7 to 2.8 upon 1.4416 we have 18.686 minus 1 that will be so, we have the E value here. E is equals to 17.68. Okay. So, from void ratio, we can calculate E equals to 17.68. Right. So, from void ratio, we can find out the value of porosity, right? So, now we know that porosity equals to E upon 1 plus E. So now, porosity value will be 17.68 upon 1 plus 17.68. 18.68 upon, we can write 18.68. That will be, our porosity value is 0.94. Okay. So, we have the 
we have solved the first question and got E and eta. If there is any calculation mistake, you can recheck it. Okay, by using scientific calculator, you can get the proper answers. Now, the question asks to find out water content of soil. So, here to calculate water content, to calculate water content, right, to calculate water content, we have weight of water in wet form and in dry form. So, if you use the formula, water content W equals to W moist minus W dry upon W dry into 100 so that we can find out the moist water content. So, from here we will find out wet moist W moist. Here we can use this formula. If we minus the W moist and W dry, so we will get what? Weight of water present in soil and by dividing it with the moist soil, weight of moist soil, we can find out the water content value, right? So, we have moist weight is 34.6. Thirty four point six minus thirty point two upon thirty point four thirty four point six multiply with one hundred. Right. Thirty point two upon thirty four point six. Multiply with 100. Okay, we have water content W as 12.716. Now, we have the answer of B. That will be to find out water content of soil. So, we can write it here. Now, we need to calculate the degree of saturation. So, so, to find out degree of saturation, we have already used the formula. I have already said to use what? S E equals to W G. How to remember? The great cricket player. Say wag. Just divide the name say and wag. So that you can find out S, E, W, G, everything. Till now we have find out E. That is our void ratio. W. That is our water content of soil. G. That is what? specific gravity that is given in our question. So, S is what? Degree of saturation. We have all these three, all three of these we already have. So, now, to find out S, sorry, to find out S, right, we can use the formula WG upon E. W is here, you can write 12.716 
with multiply with g that is given in question 2.7 here and e as 17.68 this e value i am in doubt if there is in calculation mistake you can check it okay there will be some little bit of calculation mistake so our degree of saturation will be Two point seven upon seventeen point six eight. So S will be one point nine four one. So we have calculated the value for but first E that is void ratio eta porosity. Here and what calculation of water content that is our 12.716 and degree of saturation we get here 1.941. So, likewise, we have calculated if we have all these values now, we have all the properties here. So, if now any any property as we can calculate by using these values. Okay. So, thank you so much.